lovely people welcome back to the channel again in today's video i want to show you something that we started from the previous video we were making this if you if you can remember we were making peanuts or ground nuts whatever you call it so kindly please if you didn't watch my previous video make it a point to go back there and check it out because this video is practically a continuation of something that started from that previous video so can you please make it a point to watch that video and just one question before we go any further is it your first time here and if your answer is yes please you're so much welcome this is actually pride your village content channel and i'm so glad to have you join the family guys make it a point to subscribe turn on your notification bell so you don't miss a single video on the channel guys um, so right here we are going to continue from where we stopped yesterday the next thing we are going to do is to roast this seeds here because we are making paste out of this the local way the traditional way guys and so we are going to roast it and this right here is my fireplace as you can see i'm trying to add more firewood so we can make it a bit hotter though we don't need so much heat here that's why i'm actually if you're noticing i'm using this small firewood i'm not using the big pieces because of a reason i don't need too much heat when the fire is too hot there's a way it ends up burning instead so i'm going to use the small pieces here that is going to give us just moderate heat that we need for making our perfect results you're going to love it There we go, our fire is set, so right here is the saucepan we are going to use. And there's nothing much we are going to do apart from just pouring this genus into the pan. Another thing I may have to tell you is that you don't have to pour it very full that you, it, it, it's so hard actually to mix because you're going to keep stirring and the stirring starts right from the time we are going to, to pour the pan into the, I mean to pour the ginas into the pan until the ginas are actually ready so you have to make sure that the quantity you're pouring into the saucepan is something you can manage to stir throughout because your hands might get tired and for stirring I'm just going to get anything random here so this will do I guess I might not need something very special for this. Yeah, this will do. My sticks here will do. You could also be wondering why I just had to take this for doing this. One, I don't need a mingling stick for this, or um, what we use particularly, maybe for mingling or anything, because the husks here might be moving off if you use something really, really big or hard as you get. So you have to use something. That is half the as well, but not just half, but also ensure that your husks here are not going to be peeling off like this because they'll end up burning. If they peel up like this, they will burn so easily. So you have to make sure that the husks are intact. And the only way to do that is to use something as small as this, or rather you could use your brooms. Like that's if you have the kind of brooms we have here. But for now, this here will do for me. So this stirring is going to continue until you're going to be noticing the changes in the colors. So let's just do this guys. Let's do this. Please enjoy the video. Thank <laughs> you. 
guys, you can't imagine I've been doing this. So I can say an hour now from the time I started stirring like this. But you can see the results, guys. It is not in vain. You can notice the color has changed. Let me compare with this, the one which is raw. So I think you can see it's hot. Ah, it's burning me. But I think you notice the difference. So this, I can say this is ready. And this is raw. If you can, if you have a really good sight, eyesight, you can notice the difference of the color I am talking about. So off, we are going to put it off the fire. Probably saying that you how she hurried what we are going to eat on the brown like that it no it's not that don't worry because you know what we're going to do we're going to leave this thing to cool here for some time uh, then as you can see this thing has husks so we're going to remove this back husks off and what is going to remain inside is actually clean because it has not touched the ground as you are going to notice so it's going to be very clean and very healthy to eat so don't worry and start saying that why is she pouring it on the ground no we are safe okay so let's leave this thing here to cool for some minutes before we come back and do what follows next so i'm going to spread it a bit of, a bit wider like this so that it does not burn because even if it's down like this if you pile them together not in an open place it can still burn because the heat it has is really high so the best thing is to spread it open like this and leave it to air red so it can cool I am so excited to know what this is going to turn out to guys. You are definitely going to love this pink here. It is going to make something so delicious, something so perfect and very nice to eat. So please, let's do this till the end. As we went to roast this one, this other one was cooling. So we are going to start off from this cold one. And we are going to start removing the husk. So this is how it is done. So for this anything can do. Either I can use this or even my hands. But because the genets are mop, it's going to hurt my hands at some point. So just for your own comfort, you can use this. Or alternative, like we'll also show you something else that I can use. I'm just going to put something one from the compound. I am going to repeat and go through like this just to check that those particles that pass through without being removed, without the husks being removed. So this is just a double check method to check that and ensure that you don't leave any ground nut with the husks on. This is how I want it to come out, perfect like this without any husks. So practically right now all I'm going to do is to do 
everything here and remove the husks and ensure that at the end of the day what I have is just like I showed you in my hands right now. Otherwise, I think for this episode, I mean for this part of the video, I am going to stop here. But be sure to catch the next part of this video and ensure that you watch it till the end because I want you to know what we are going to come out with at the end of this video, guys. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching and ensure that you catch the next one. Bye-bye.